my name is Alejandra Ramos, and for those of you that don't know me, I graduated Cliffside Park High School in 2019. I was the student council president, and I was a very involved student. As much as I would love to sit here and talk about my time at the high school, I am currently a student at Rampo College of New Jersey, and I have some tips, tricks, and advice for those of you that are going to college. I hope you enjoy this segment. Two skills that you are going to need to perfect by the time you graduate high school, regardless if you are a senior graduating this year or if you are a freshman that just started. The two skills are communication skills and time management skills. Time management skills, uh, you know, you'll receive a packet like this. Here's my syllabus for one of my classes. Uh, you'll receive a syllabus in the beginning of the semester, the first week, and that will outline all the assignments you have to do, what the teacher expects of you, and everything like that. Um, so you'll receive them. It's basically up to you, really, to figure out when you're going to study for the midterm, when you're going to do term projects, when you're going to do term papers, all of that you have to decide on your own. The professor is not like teachers at the high school that will come after you and say, hey, buddy, you know, don't forget, you know, this is due, that's due, or, you know, your counselor won't call you down to their office and say, you know, you're in, you're in danger of failing, you know, you have to make up this, this, and this assignment. Uh, to be able to do that. Most professors at the college level don't give extensions. They don't say, oh, we feel bad for you. You know, you're going through stuff at home. They say, they literally look at you and they say, we all go through stuff, deal with it, figure it out. Um, trust me, I've had my own experiences. Uh, and then the second skill would be communication skills. If you're ever absent from a class or if you, do, you need to be absent for a reason, you have to email a professor, hey, you know, I can't come in because of X, Y, and Z. After you leave, after you're absent, email them and say, hi, I was absent. Uh, you know, these were the reasons if, you know, you didn't reach out beforehand. Uh, and this is, you know, I, I want to know what I could do to, to make things up. So there's a lot of people that make college seem like a walk through the park. Uh, and I'll tell you, it's not a walk through the park all the time. Uh, so at some point, it seems really easy. And you're like, I got this. But, you know, every time you feel very confident in what you're doing, um, you know, sometimes something else happens that really makes you not feel that way. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this uh, section of CPTV, uh, and I look forward to maybe making another appearance this year. Thanks. Cancel culture. What is cancel culture? Cancel culture is a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles, whether it be online, on social media, or in person. Those who are subject to this ostracism are said to have been canceled. Ostracism is exclusion from a society or group. Views on cancel culture. Many people think that cancel culture is a good thing because it helps prevent any type of abuse or harm, sexism and racism. However, other people believe nowadays people are too sensitive and are taking it out of proportion. In addition, some people are falsely accused. What do you think? Cancel culture is also infamous for catching people very fast. A woman named Amy Cooper, also dubbed as the Central Park Karen, called the police on African-American birdwatcher Christian Cooper, who are not related. During the exchange, Amy claimed that there was an African-American man threatening her life. All Christian had done was mind his business and ask Amy to put a leash on her dog, as it was park rules. Christian was recording the whole situation. Amy then made a second call, which isn't in the original video, but she claimed he tried to assault her. Amy has since apologized and expressed her shame, and Christian chose not to be involved in any kind of pressing charges. The situation was called racially offensive. Due to today's climate, this could have put Christian in a very uncomfortable situation. In this case, canceling successfully identified Amy and held her accountable. Example number two, Aunt Jemima. Cancer culture does not only focus on people such as celebrities, but they extend to companies and brands such as Aunt Jemima. The Aunt Jemima brand and company is a very popular pancake mix, syrup, and breakfast food company. It has been around since 1889, and the image on the brand has raised questions in the cancer culture community. Just this week, Demi Lovato went under fire for criticizing a Froyo shop. When she went to the shop, there were many low-fat and sugar-free options. Demi claimed she felt triggered as she is someone who is recovering from an eating disorder. What Demi failed to realize is that this frozen yogurt shop was for diabetics. She claimed that the small business was a diet vulture. Demi also inherently used her influence to try to attack a small business just because of her bad experience. Without knowing the context or purpose of the shop, Demi was quick to call them out online via her Instagram stories and a DM to them. 
Demi was also equally criticized by social media. People were very quick to hold her accountable. Some may say she took it too far, she made a mistake, or she meant well and didn't fully understand the situation. Besides her intentions, it was again a problem that people over social media handled an absurd attempt at canceling someone. Senior experience is truly a wonderful opportunity. Many students have an idea that they would like to be a teacher, or a counselor, or a doctor, or a lawyer, and they really don't know the specifics of what those jobs entail. So senior experience is a very interesting and unique way to get to see what that job is actually like. So I strongly encourage students that have a specific goal in mind, a specific career goal in mind, to enjoy themselves by saying, I'm gonna work hard for my first three years in high school, and then when the opportunity arises in senior year, to say, I'm gonna try this particular career and focus on working on that to see if it's something you truly like. I go back to my days. I went to college to become an accountant. Didn't like accounting at all after several courses. Moved on to teaching and now counseling, and I love this opportunity.